सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू चैनल फार्माकोलॉजी सिंप्लीफाइड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी पैथोफिजियोलॉजी ऑफ पेप्टिक अल्सर सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट पेप्टिक अल्सर इट इज अ कंडीशन वेर देयर इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लीजन्स इन द एसिड बियरिंग रीजन ऑफ द स्टमक और ऑफ द डोडेनम इन द इनिशियल पार्ट ऑफ द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन सो वाई दीज अल्सर्स डेवलप द वेरी सिंपल रीजन इज दैट देयर इज an imbalance between the aggressive factors and the defensive factors in the stomach so uh, if we see here that uh, this is a uh, stomach this is the esophagus this is cardiac sphincter that closes the stomach here and this is the pyloric sphincter that closes the stomach from here this is the greater curvature this is the lesser curvature we all are aware of these things and this is the beginning of the intestine so this is duodenum then we have jejunum then we would be having ileum right so these these three are the uh, divisions of the uh, small intestine so what happens here that this stomach this has four layers so if we see like this is one this is two this is three and this is four layer so starting from this this is layer one one there is mucosa then we have sub mucosa then we have muscularis and then we have fourth layer as serosa correct so we are having these four layers mucosa sub mucosa muscularis and serosa there are several other layers that uh, mucosa has mucosa has uh, epithelial layer then it has lamina propria then it has muscularis mucosae and in this uh, muscularis we have circular longitudinal and oblique layers so all these layers they help in the churning of the uh, food in the stomach and uh, the layers of the uh, mucosa and some mucosa they uh, they have uh, function in the secretion and uh, protection in the stomach so what happens that so what happens that in stomach we have we all know that we have hcl and pepsin both of these contribute towards protein breakdown and digestion so why is that that if we eat any protein if we eat any protein it gets digested but why is it that this layers they are also made up of similar kind of proteins so what is there that these do not uh, get digested by the uh, enzymes that are presented uh, in the stomach so for this the reason is that there is there is a protective layer that is made up of mucus plus bicarbonate ions so what happens that this mucus acts as a barrier between the hcl so it it never allows this hcl to come to in contact with this wall and this hco3 bicarbonate it continuously neutralizes your h plus ions so it neutralizes h plus ions as soon as they come in the vicinity of this muscular layer but in some cases what happens that there is if we see like so we have both defensive factors as well as aggressive factors aggressive factors are those such as hcl then we have pepsin and then we have gastrin right we will uh, understand the role of each and every one of these in the upcoming part of this video and in the defensive we have 
बाइकार्बोनेट्स एंड वी हैव म्यूकस करेक्ट सो बाइकार्बोनेट्स एंड म्यूकस वॉट दे डू बोथ ऑफ दीज फैक्टर्स वर्क अगेंस्ट ईच अदर बट इन द फिजियोलॉजिकल स्टेट देर इज एन देर इज अ बैलेंस बिटवीन बोथ ऑफ दीज एग्रेसिव एंड डिफेंसिव फैक्टर्स एंड एज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ दिस वी डू नॉट डेवलप अल्सर्स बट इफ देर इज एन इम्बैलेंस if there is an imbalance between the aggressive and defensive factors for example the aggressive factors go up defensive factors go down so what happens this layer would not be there to protect the mucus and this hcl is going to eat this out hcl is going to eat this layer and this will lead to the formation of ulcers now what can be the reasons that can trigger development of ulcers so there can be number of reasons that can trigger ulcer for example eating very spicy food taking nsaids so these can be the reasons so these can be these are some uh, this list is not exhaustive so there can be some other factors as well so the reasons that can cause ulcer development is alcohol tobacco stress too much spices eating too many uh, too much spices nsaids nsaids example aspirin indomethacin and ibuprofen and h pylori this is uh, a unique microorganism what it does it produces an enzyme urease correct it produces an enzyme urease and what this urease does it splits urea into ammonia it splits um, uh, into ammonia and this ammonia is toxic to the mucosa this leads to direct death of the cell it is cytotoxic along with this this h pylori it also produces an enzyme called catalase it produces an enzyme called catalase this catalase what it does it inactivates neutrophil action along with this this h pylori this has adhesion molecules which leads to the sticking of this h pylori into the surface of the uh, git so uh, it is very difficult to get rid of this uh, h pylori infection so uh, now Uh, on the types of ulcers so ulcers can be categorized into two classes uh, it they can be gastric or peptic or they can be duodenal ulcers the name very clearly shows that uh, what is the location what can be the uh, what is the location of these ulcers so the gastric ulcers or the peptic ulcers they would be present in the gastric region so if we see if this is the stomach part so the ulcers occurring in this region they would qualify as gastric or peptic ulcers while the ulcers that are developing in the duodenal region right they will be qualified they would be qualifying as duodenal ulcers so now uh, we see that what are the differences like gastric ulcers they uh, if someone is having gastric ulcer that individual will start to complain about the pain as soon as he is having some food because the presence of food in the stomach this will lead to hcl release and if that uh, what what will happen the individual will, will tend to stop eating food because as soon as he starts to eat food there would be acid and pepsin that will start to eat its gi walls so there would be intense epigastric pain there would be pain in this region of the stomach and in uh, duodenal ulcers what happens that the ulcers develop in this region if there is not effective uh, neutralization of the hcl and pepsin when this chyme enters into the small intestine there is going to be duodenal ulcers in duodenal ulcers the pain will start after 1 to 3 hours of eating food 
Why is it so? Because uh, the food takes uh, about one to three hours from the stomach to reach into the intestine. Correct. In gastric, in case of gastric ulcer, the pain would be relieved by vomiting. If an individual vomits, the pain would be relieved. And in the end, uh, I would be discussing uh, about uh, the clinical features of the uh, gastric uh, of the ulcers. So first that uh, since there is a lesion in the stomach, so there is going to be epigastric pain. Since there is epigastric pain and uh, this pain is provoked by meal, so there would be burning sensation in the stomach. And this sensation, since it would be initiated by food, the individual will become anorectic. The individual will stop eating. So there would be rapid weight loss. There can be uh, vomit. Uh, there, Sorry, there can be blood in the vomiting because since there is erosion of the GIT, so there would be uh, vomiting, uh, there would be blood in the vomit, there, there can be melina. Melina is presence of uh, blood in the stool, but this iron gets, the iron present in the blood, it gets uh, oxidized and gets converted into uh, black color. So the stools are also stained black. Correct. So these are some clinical features uh, in of uh, ulcers. Uh, these ulcers they also lead to development of anemia because uh, acid uh, this uh, HCl is essential for uh, absorption of the intrinsic factor this intrinsic factor is essential for the uh, absorption of vitamin B so there would be deficiency of vitamin B in the body and that will uh, ultimately lead to uh, anemia also because uh, there are certain medications that are given to the ulcer patients uh, that uh, reduce the acid secretion in the stomach obviously for getting rid of the acid that is causing uh, pain to the person so this reduction in acid will lead to reduce absorption of the intrinsic factor and this uh, deficiency of intrinsic factor in the uh, human will lead to the uh, development of anemia and uh, nausea and vomiting will definitely accompany and uh, I, I don't think that <laughs> nausea and vomiting is something that I need to tell uh, people write nausea and vomiting with almost everything uh, there has been there have been instances where students have written nausea and vomiting associated with the antimetics also so well jokes apart so with this i would like to uh, end this video uh, i would try to be regular and uh, if you have been under, able to understand anything out of this video you have to subscribe to the channel and you have to share the video as much as possible uh, thank you very much happy learning to all of us